the small ball. Wrap the yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round 1, start with a chain stitch, CH, and then work 4 single crochets, SC. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, SS. Work 1 chain stitch, CH, first. The chain stitch, CH, is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 4 single crochets, SC. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and continue to work three more single crochets, SC, in the same way. For V, shapes on the side stand for 4 single crochets, SC. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work 1 slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. The slip stitch, SS, serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with a chain stitch, CH, and then work 4 increases, I and C. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, SS. Work 1 chain stitch, CH, first. Then work 4 increases, I and C. First, work 1 single crochet, SC, in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet, SC. Then work one more single crochet, SC, in the same stitch. That's one increase, I and C. There are two OV shapes on the side. Continue to work three more increases, I and C, in the same way. We need to work two single crochets, SC, in each stitch. For increases, I and C, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 2 is done. In round 3, start with one chain stitch, CH, and then work four decreases, DEC. Finally end with one slip stitch, SS. Work one chain stitch, CH, first. Then work 4 decreases, D, E, C. Decrease, D, E, C, is to combine 2 stitches into 1 stitch. Insert hook into the first stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. Insert hook into the next stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. There are 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all 3 loops on hook. That's one decrease, D, E, C. Method 2. Insert your hook into the next stitch. And pull up loop. Then insert your hook into next stitch. And pull up loop again. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through all three loops on hook. That's one decrease. Mark the first decrease, D, E, C.
Insert hook into the next stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. Insert hook into the next stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on hook. The second decrease, DEC, is done. Continue to work two more decreases, DEC, in the same way. For decreases, D, E, C, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, S, S, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 3 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Pull the yarn tail out. Tighten up. Cut off this short yarn tail. Thread the needle with the yarn tail. Sew hole closed by stitching through the front loops only of the last round. Sew the small ball to the top of the corresponding hat. Fold the top of the hat to the left, with the folding position between rounds 11 to 12. Then sew some stitches to fix it.
conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end. The hat of the elf is completed. Please make the hat for the Santa Claus with corresponding yarns in the same way on your own. This is the hat of the Santa Claus made with corresponding yarns.